Which one of you fellers is the real Dirty Dan? Uh, I am. <gasps> Patrick! Hot wings. Okay, Pinhead Larry. Now you get yours. Andy, stand back. I'm warning ya. Okay, I warn ya. Did you win? <laughs> okay, so there's a lawnmower outside, but I don't know if it's gonna come this way or if it's gonna go away. It, it sound, sounds to me like it's going farther away. So I think I'm good to start recording. Welcome back to ReZero Season 2, Episode number 15, I guess it would be. Uh, I, like, the listing on this site says that it's Season 3, but it, it really isn't. It really is not. And last time, Puck is gone, and Puck basically sacrificed himself. So that Amelia can have all her memories back. And now she has all of it in her mind. And Subaru is here to comfort her. And once she once she gets over all of her past. She'll be able to go through the trial. And she'll be able to free the sanctuary. But unfortunately. One man. One man single handedly. Has been trying to stop that. For the past season. And his name is Garfield. With a D. Yes I still say Garfield with a D. <laughs> Because this bitch is Garfield. He turns into a large ass furry. And he eats lasagna too. So yeah, Garfield has been trying to stop them from freeing the sanctuary with a uh, Shima. Ryuzu Shima. That lawnmower, man. <laughs> that lawnmower. Um, and all because Garfield has mommy issues. Ah. <laughs> and he misses his sister. Ah. But still, you fucked over- you single-handedly fucked over an entire, like, village of people. I'm in an emotional mood. Uh, I had- I had a dream. Last night. Yeah, I basically had like a fucking Vietnam flashback. My content is not your therapy session, I know, I know. But, there is something that had been bothering me for a while. I'm- I'm really sad now because it's something that I really regret. And it has a name and a face, and it's a person. And I'm tying this back to ReZero. You know how, like, a while ago I said- I said something about, like, me relating to ReZero because I have my own Amelia? I said that in, like, Season 1. Some point, somewhere. I don't know, go look for it. But I said that ReZero was- ReZero- ReZero- Fuck. <laughs> ReZero is relatable to me because, like, I feel like we all have our own Amelia in our lives. And Subaru is lucky because he's been able to hold on to Amelia for a long time. Unlike Subaru, I completely dropped the ball. Yeah, it is the source of all my regret. I know, emotional, I know. We're, 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 we're two episodes into this final part. Like, I, I, I'm guessing it's gonna get a lot more emotional, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just preparing myself. <laughs> for what's to come. I'm preparing you too. I'm preparing you too. So you're welcome. Also, you know what I'm excited for? I'm excited for the new opening and the new uh, ending. This is gonna be the last opening and the last ending we have. So they've gotta be good. Anyways, I've been stalling for too long, man. This show, this show just needs a lot of buildup for me to watch it, but I, I just need to do it. I just need to do it and quit complaining and quit talking. Here we go, episode number two! I mean, 15, I guess. I don't know. The listing's weird. Okay, Otto, we're gonna start with Otto beating the shit out of Garfield. Excellent. <laughs> you know what? Otto, Otto has become his, his mortal enemy, and I love it. I'm all here for it, Otto. Let's go. You needed your own enemy. He's like the Robin of, the, of this series. He's the Robin to Subaru's Batman. I love it. Fucking Dick Dick Wayne, <laughs> whatever his name is, Richard Wayne. You want to talk things over, but the one you want to talk to ain't even here. 
So I guess you could say I'm buying time so a certain boy and girl can be alone for a while. <sighs> Come on, Otto! Otto, what happened to your moves last last episode? Beat the shit out of him! The stone! <laughs> My man just fell for a Minecraft trap! Oldest trick in the book! Otto, you trickster! You trickster, Otto! You got the stone! What the hell? Oh my god, you put him in a pit full of larvae! <laughs> Jesus, man! Otto does not hold back! <laughs> Otto is a raw motherfucker! When I was a young boy... Otto backstory! Here we go! No matter where I went, I heard endless voices, but I had no idea what any of them were saying. At that age, I had no way to know that this was the blessing I was born with. The soul of language, divine protection. Wow. And that's Otto's parents. How are we- how are we getting an Otto backstory before an Amelia backstory? That's hilarious. You know what, I feel like Otto- Otto has deserved his time, okay? He's deserved his time. Let him, let the man speak. He's clearly got a story to tell. Also, I wanna go here, where is this? Is this Luguanica? Where is this? India? I'm afraid your son has leukemia. <laughs> Who is this, your older brother? It was my brother, seven years my senior. Who realized that win written words might bring about that understanding when spoken words couldn't. <laughs> Damn, what did you do, Otto? What'd you write? <laughs> what did you write, man? It brought both your parents to tears. Aww. It may have been the first time I'd cried out since I was born. And then, when I turned 10, my man saw the spirits of the forest. He is Link. He is actually Link. Those meaningless voices started to transform into sounds with meaning. Rain, rainfall. <laughs> then that rain came in quick. My man Otto, a superhero. He's fucking. What's her name from the Thornberry Thornberry show? Wild Thornberries. <laughs> what's her name? Eliza. <laughs> Eliza Thornberry ass. Uh... <laughs> My man brought the plague. <laughs> wow. When I was 15... <laughs> Damn, Otto. Would you watch those... <laughs> you watch those cats have sex, Otto? Huh? I made the enemy of the daughter of the most powerful person in town, and they ran me out. Otto, you did not deserve this, man. After that, I unexpectedly found my independence as a merchant, and busted my butt working. My man Otto is a hustler. He's a survivor, man. I made up my mind that I'd run my own shop someday. Otto! You can do it, Otto! Go, go, Otto! And then one day... Well, 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 where are you off to in such a... Hurry! <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've done the voice. Oh, we're gonna see what happened to Otto. This was the, this was the timeline where I was insulting him and calling him a bitch, wasn't it? <laughs> Otto, I'm sorry, man. They are making me feel so bad, bad for insulting Otto. They are- okay, I get it. I get it, okay? Every time I insult a character like this, it, it comes back to bite me in the butt. Yuki becomes a strong, independent woman. We, we find out Hamura's sad backstory. And now we have Otto here, making me feel, feel the worst of it. Like, okay, I get it. I get it, okay? Every time I hate a character, they're actually a really good person. Like, fuck. <laughs> Oh no, Otto. Did the same thing that happened to Ram happen to you? Wait, was Otto in the- No, wait, no. It's not possible. 
兄ちゃん運がええなあーおおチャードウォーフチャードウォーフポズに感謝せなあかんな兄ちゃんにしたら命の恩人やな Wait, oh my god It was Subaru It was Subaru who sent Chad Wolf He, he almost thought it was all over And Subaru Subaru is just a good guy man He does stuff off screen that we don't even know about I realize that every time I cry It marks a rebirth in my life My first cry as a baby after receiving life My second cry after learning Of my family's love and realizing where my heart lay. And this day, third, when I had a brush with death, I gained an understanding of my purpose and my reason living. I wasn't actually asked to buy time this way, but it's all to help my friend. I don't even think Otto knows. Let's go, Otto! My man is slowly becoming an S tier. <laughs> you gotta buy him time, Otto! That is your best friend! You are not gonna let him down. I love Otto. This is nothing, Otto. You've been through worse. Pocket sand. <laughs> Run, Otto. Just give up, Garfield. Give up. I hate this piece of shit. <laughs> like, unironically, I hate him. Don't you dare strike my boy. I told you I'm not letting you pull any shit. Frankly, you surprised me. Seriously, never would have thought you had it in ya. Let him go! Think I've done all I could? Give me the stone back right now! Enough, damn it! Let's just say, my personal battle ends here. <gasps> yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes, Ram! Yes, Ram! Let's go, Ram, I always knew you were on the right side! Fuck it, Garfield, you're in everyone's way. You have no friends. Is Natsuki-san worth it? Well, if we're talking about whether he's worth anything, I suppose he's not. But I look forward to seeing what flowers bloom from him. So I keep pruning and brushing off the bugs. I suppose that's the mood I'm in now. Hmm, frankly, I have no idea what gives you such high hopes for Basaru. <laughs> he's weak and useless and so incompetent. You can't even make tea right. <laughs> it's going a bit far, or maybe not actually. But when it's do or die, he has bizarrely good timing. I know, right? A man who only has good timing, that's what Basaru is. If he believes and sees an opportunity and acts on it, you know that's the only path to victory. They both trust him. I love it. I love this unexpected friendship. You gonna go you gonna go furry now? You gonna go furry? Here you go, Garfield came out. But this time, we're ready for you, bitch. Let's go, Ram. She's smiling! Oh, I've been waiting for this since since part one. He has needed an ass whooping. Oh, Ram. Ram and Otto, they're just skyrocketing to the top. Come on, Otto! Save Ram, save Ram. No one is dying this time. This is the one. Out of here! What's going on over there? <laughs> now time for your part, Subaru. Your part. <laughs> Otto and Ram over there fight a battle, and meanwhile, you just have to talk to the girl you like. <laughs> She's adorable. It's just some quiet time. This, this episode's broken up into two parts, that's crazy. Really thought this through, didn't you, Amelia Tan? You knew no one would find you if you hold up in here. Why, why are you here, Subaru? You, you don't... Get forced back as hard as Roswell? I mean, I'm here, but fighting pretty hard to endure. Half of me believed you'd be here, half of me just wished for it. Half and half. So relieved that I found you. Just relieved? You're not angry? Why would we be angry at you? Why would we ever be angry at you? I see. You're not angry. You're not angry at me, Subaru. You won't even get angry. Why won't you get angry? 
What I did was selfish, wasn't it? It caused trouble for you, didn't it? I worried you by leaving without saying anything. Are you not angry because you didn't expect anything in the first place? You're kind to me even when I mess up. Because you're not even disappointed in me, right? No, Millia, that's not what I think. Then... Then why? Why didn't you keep your promise? You and Puck both broke your word and went away. You both went away and left me behind. You're a liar. Puck is a liar. Liar. Shit, I feel bad, and I'm not even the one who broke the promise. <laughs> Shit. All of that guilt. Amelia, I love you. It's been so long since we've heard those words. Night after night, you go rushing into that same damn trial over and over. What the hell is that trial anyway? It's just the past. Don't keep moping over stuff that's over and done with. I tried to do it for you. You insist that only you could do it. It just means you were all talk. And in the end, when your pet and guardian takes off, you abandon your duties and run off to soak and cry your eyes out? I can't put up with it any longer. Right? It makes sense that you think of me that way. But still, I love you, Amelia. <laughs> I love you. They're playing this new song. I love you so, so much. I don't know what to do with myself. Where did all of this come from? Of that beautiful silver hair of yours. Of that damp purple jewels you have for eyes. Of your voice and just how hearing it puts me in a trance. Your long slender arms and legs, your pale skin, your height are all so perfect to me that I can't stand it. Just being with you makes my heart race out of control. It's scary, honestly. I'm I, <laughs> I'm a little emotional, you know? I love how you're a little absent-minded too. The way you give everything- What? What did you say? The way you give everything your all is adorable. I respect the way you do your best to help others. It's hard to leave you alone when I see you putting others before yourself. I want to see all the expressions you make right here beside you. This is no time for- Stop playing around! Why are you suddenly saying all of this? It's not what we're talking about! You're saying that I'm utterly useless! That you couldn't put up with me! So why would you forgive me for being so useless? If that's the answer you want, I've said it over and over. It's because I love you! I'm head over heels in love with you! Everything about you shines in my eyes. Yeah, of course, parts of you aren't perfect. You're an angel or a goddess. You're an ordinary girl. You'll want to run away from things that hurt, I get that. But even including that weakness and the parts of you that you might even call ugly. I love every part of your being, Amelia. That's just too selfish. You just named all the things that make me useless. You can still say you love me? How do you expect me to believe you? It's not because I believe in you that I love you. I believe in you because I love you! Just loving someone isn't a reason to believe in them! If loving you isn't a reason to believe in you, then who the hell would willingly go through all this suffering to come and help a pain in the ass like you? I love you so much that it makes me crazy! I love you so much that I could die! That's why I'm putting up with so much pain and suffering. Even right now I feel like I might puke but I'm standing right in front of you. I never asked you to do that. You're just being selfish. You're not thinking about my feelings at all. You have no idea how I feel every time I see you. I'm getting hurt because of me. How would I know? I don't even think about it. All I think is how to look good in front of you. I'm suffering for you here. At least try to look cute, as cute as I hope you would. They're talking like an old married couple. <laughs> They're talking like, hang on, hang on, guys. They're talking like an old married couple. <laughs> True love. <laughs> I think this is what they needed, you know. I think I think they've been doing this lovey-dovey shit too long, you know. 
They've, they've been holding back their true feelings. Like, they love each other so much that they're pissed off at each other. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I think that- I think that's what love is, sometimes. Like, I- I don't have much experience in that field, but... I think- I think a part of... Being in love with someone is, like... Being really pissed off when they're away. Like, being really pissed off with them when they do stuff. And it's only because you love them so goddamn much also you know at the at the beginning of this episode i said um uh, yeah it's 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 always <laughs> the, the emotions are are coming back up god damn it both of them make excellent points and i think that's the point this series has <laughs> fucking matured me it's matured this channel fuck talk like i'm some doll why did you break your promise if you had done what I asked you to, that would have been enough. Why wouldn't you even do that? You actually hate me, don't you? I love you, liar! I'm not lying, I love you! Then... Why? Why did you break your promise? I can't tell you. If you'd stayed with me until morning like you promised, I think I could have believed in you. I could have believed you and trusted you with everything. But you? Subaru, why didn't you stay the night? Since Puck left, my memories have been slowly coming back. Sights in my mind that I don't recognize. Conversations I don't remember. More and more of them keep coming back. I thought I remembered everything all this time. But I went and forgot them as if they never existed. When all the memories come back, What's going to happen to me? Is this me? Really me? I forgot so many important things. I even forgot about mother. It doesn't matter how you start or what happens in the middle. It's how it ends. Yeah, you're right, mom. Why are they bringing back his parents too? This episode's trying to make me cry. No matter what memories you get back, it won't change anything. I love you. I'm always gonna love you. I can't believe that. If the me that you say love, you love, goes away, could you still? I could. No matter what happens, you're not going to go away. I love you. But you're a liar! I'll make you believe me now! If you don't want this, then dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge! <laughs> no way. No way. No way. There is no way. There is no way. They wouldn't- YES! <laughs> I love you, no matter how many hopeless sides of you I see. Even when we argue like this, I'm never gonna stop loving you. That won't change, no matter what happens. I'll just love you even more than before. And that's why I'll always believe in you. And if you want to know why, because you love me, the path you've walked until now won't go away. You're going to be fine. How can you say that for sure? What matters isn't how you start, it's how it ends. The woman I respect the most in the whole world said so. You'll be fine, Amelia. I'm on your side. And if you're still scared, we'll find it. Find what? Just like my feelings for you make me realize. <laughs> God damn it. Just like my feelings for you make me able to keep running forward. You'll find your most precious feeling, the one that makes you be able to blow away all the anxieties and run forward. Of course, I like to hope that precious feeling will be for me. My most precious feeling. I wonder if it's among all these memories I've been getting back. Yeah, sure it is. The reason to keep walking is there. It started raining. I'm serious. There's a light rain outside. A reason to believe. Otto! Oh no! Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Ain't like I was waiting for you. Oh no! 
Auto. 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 <laughs> Guys, there's a light rain outside. I'm not even joking. There's a light rain outside. It, like, it just started raining. God damn it. <laughs> Every episode of this is gonna feel like a fucking movie, isn't it? It's gonna feel like a, a blockbuster. Oh my god. I can't. I can't do this every week, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this was intentional. But you know how, like, every time they show the title at the very end of the episode, it's like white text on a black screen? This time there was light. There was light on the screen. Uh -huh. It's all resurfacing. It's all bubbling up again. <sighs> so much has fucking happened. In between, let's say episode 15 of season 1 that we watched and episode 15 of season 2 now so much has happened in between just when you think love love is hopeless love does not exist then re-zero comes out of here and just shows you like the most realistic and pure form of it i don't know i don't know i don't usually fall for these sappy little love stories but god damn it <laughs> God damn it, man. There's just something so raw about it. There's something so raw about all the emotions in this in this episode. Just talking about this episode specifically. We had the stuff with Otto. There's just something so raw about all of it. Like the like the like the person who made the show experienced it themselves. Like the person writing it is Subaru. <laughs> but yeah, that was ReZero episode number 15 Burger King <laughs> foot lettuce. I just noticed the way I said it and I had to I had to finish it. I don't think Garfield killed them. He fucked them up though. He he rocked their shit. Or he escaped. He ran away with his tail between his legs, something like that. Cause this has gotta be the one. This is the one timeline, right? It has to be. Thoughts on Amelia. Um I think she is regaining memories of being an evil, evil bitch. She was, she was evil. I think she was pure evil. I don't know if we're saying which evil, but she was evil. There's no way around it. I think she was just pure evil back then. Then she was sealed away. All her memories were sealed away. And she became the good girl we know now. So when she gets those memories back, who's going to be there? Is it going to be Amelia or is it going to... Or are her past memories gonna, you know, take over? We gotta have hope, you know? We gotta have hope that Amelia is still gonna be there. She's gonna change. She is gonna change. She is gonna change. She's not gonna be the sweet, innocent girl we know anymore, is she? There's gonna be something else. There's something else in there. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but we're, we're gonna be ready for it, you know? Regardless of what happens, we love her. We love her, okay? We love her no matter what, even if she turns into a murderer, <laughs> it's a serial murderer. Every single episode of this is going to be like 44 minutes long, god damn it. But yeah, that was episode number 15 of ReZero season 2. Also the kiss, the kiss. <laughs> every time it happens, like, like every time there's a kiss, it just doesn't happen. But it happened, it happened. He got a kiss! <laughs> he said, <laughs> Oh, this show makes me too giddy. Giddy? I don't know what that word means. But yeah, that was ReZero episode number 15. I've said that like three times now. Alright, see you guys.